Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab Revive Physical Therapy where we rehab your mind to revive your body. Today we're going to do a little unboxing education piece about this still point inducer by the Upledger School. John Upledger is an osteopath who helped start and create kind of the school of thought about cranial sacral rhythm. What is that? Cranial sacral rhythm is something that helps create that nutritional exchange as well as take away waste and really just kind of pr promote proper flow and circulation throughout your spinal cord, your brain. That helps promote relaxation. That helps promote things like decreased headaches, help you with alertness, focus, and just feeling more present. A lot of times we're like all over the place. This is actually a great device. You can find it on Amazon. We'll link that below that you can really do some self-help and really relax your nervous system and really calm that down. So there's some population you want to know that actually isn't good for you. It's actually on this side of the box here, not meant for children under the age of seven. Um, if you have any history of brain things, aneurysms, hemorrhage, fractures, brain tumors, not highly recommended to use that. So you don't want to use that. You want to consult with the right people, but there's a lot of great stuff with this box, a lot of information out there. Uh, this is what it looks like when you get it. Uh, you're going to get these cushiony, foamy, uh, red looking pillars right here. You can make fun of it as you will, because I have myself personally, but really important that I want to compare. Some people use the lacrosse ball. This is two lacrosse balls in a sock in our little medical bear paw sock. Um, this is actually meant for something a little different. So I want to talk about this a little bit more of a kind of freeing up some muscles around your sub occiput, those behind the neck skull muscles. It's not meant, this isn't meant to do the same thing. These are two different things, two different solutions, two different problems. This is meant to, like I said, get that rhythm a little bit more in line, in tune, in sync. Uh, these are the things that we like to talk about. So we're gonna talk about where to place this, what you should be feeling. Um, and you wanna do this on a nice, comfortable, firm su surface. Some people do try this in their on their mattress. That's okay too, but where you place it is gonna make a big difference on, on quickly how you can relax, get your body relaxed, and kind of just zone out and be in this meditative state. So stay tuned. What you wanna do is you want to Find the ability to place it right in line with your ear, ear hole. Now it's really important that there's a lot of important nerves around here and that's where kind of the nourishment, the fountain of good fluid is going through the skull. Um, so you're trying to hold that. The whole idea of still point is actually to re just find that, you're basically trying to shut off the pulse for a little bit. It goes from like this or there's a couple different ways you're the pulse in your spinal cord and your brain go but you're really just trying to you want to slow it down slow it down until it basically calms down um, so that's going to be what the the purpose of this um, and like i said it's there to help you with sleep it's alertness some people even do this for beauty and relaxing the facial muscles so this is a great little little tool now i actually take it a little differently some people um drop their legs and 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 just kind of like lay there until they get really tired i highly recommend doing this at the very end of the day not during the day but if you've got a headache or a migraine or something like that you know feel free to pop down for like just a minute or two um, and really feel that pressure just to kind of like relax your body or it just kind of just feels nice it feels like you're just being cradled uh, and that's gonna be the goal so you're just gonna hold that but I like to actually take this with my fingers and put that right around my sacrum because the whole idea of cranial sacral is the sacrum and the cranium which is your skull and your head so we're gonna find that spot um, I actually like it if you can prop yourself up even to here or it got a little wedge, but you just kind of hold that there and then you just do some gentle breathing, just regular tempo breathing and I don't know, the world just kind of feels a lot better, a lot less anxious. You can kind of zone into space, look at the little popcorn ceiling in your, your ceiling and just make some shapes out of it or something. Um, and yeah, like 
you know, I don't even feel like I want to talk all that much right now. But it feels really good. I, I love doing this at the end of the day. Uh, and a lot of you who've got headaches definitely want to uh, relax, learn to relax your body. But really having this little extra piece here where you can, or you can, if, if you can't use your hands, um, put a little towel uh, right on the sacrum for a little bit of pressure right on that area. So that also works too and it just gives you that better connectedness to your spine. And so we're just hanging right there. Like I said, you don't want it here. It's not a lacrosse ball, doesn't really help all that much. The consistency of that rubber is very different than the the hard hardish foam that you're gonna find with this inducer. So definitely want to feel that. And a lot of times the craniosacral therapist will use our fingers fingertips to hold that skull until someone just kind of ugh, they just melt it's like gel your body turns into jello so like i said i i don't even remember my script right now so <laughs> yeah the, this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna hang out take some deep breaths doing this at home. Give that a shot. 